Hi, in this video we're going to talk about the tools that we'll use throughout this course. So the first tool that we're going to use is this uh, Dev Suite for JBoss. So I'm going to search for download Dev Suite for development use and the first link that you should get will find you at Red Hat. And so the link that we're looking for is something like this. We're looking for installers. So here's an installer for Windows and fortunately there's one for Mac as well. So go ahead and click this, the big red button and when you're done you'll have a installer. So follow the instructions and when you're finished you should have a application that looks like this here. The development suite in the video that I'm making it looks like I'm using version 11.20 and so we'll go with that. Another tool that we're going to be using here is the MAMP server, M-A-M-P and you will be downloading the free version here as well there's a MAMP Pro and you can ignore that so what we want is just the free version and that'll work just fine. The reason why we want MAMP is not so much for the web server part it's just that it has a nice database server and some tools built in for using MySQL. So go ahead and download this and install for your operating system. It works for Windows, Macintosh, and Linux. The third tool that we'll be using, not right away, but we will be using MySQL Workbench. And so let's go check out what this looks like. My Workbench is a tool for managing and setting up databases with uh, different relationships between tables. And so you'll get an image that looks like this when you're running the tool. You can see that uh, the example they show is a fairly complicated database with links between tables and relationships and foreign keys. And so for simple tables, you don't need to have this tool, but uh, for anything a little more advanced where two or more tables are used, then you'll need this tool. So three tools here. We got the uh, Red Hat Dev Studio for JBoss. We have the MAMP server. And then also we have the tool for MySQL Workbench. So download each of those and install them, and we'll be ready to move on. 